strokes. So when we see patients who come in with stroke symptoms that are going on for six, seven, eight hours or prior to sleep, they go to bed, wake up in the morning and they're totally impaired and paralyzed on one side of the body, it's extremely frustrating, frustrating because the, the treatment window for stroke is fairly narrow. The, narrow. the only FDA approved therapy for stroke at this point is a, th is a clot busting drug called TPA and that, that drug has been approved for the zero to three hour window which means from the onset of your symptoms we have out to three hours to evaluate and treat you um, and that time goes fairly quickly that could, because when you come to the emergency department we have to do things fairly quickly and some of those things will take sometimes a half hour to do to 45 minutes so that three hour window is really much less than that from the time people recognize their symptoms call 911 which we recommend come to the, the emergency department so we have a very narrow window fortunately we have been able to expand that window through some recent studies out to four and a half hours for that IV clot busting drug. That's still not FDA approved, but we have protocols here at Barnes that, that include those patients out to four and a half window hours. And then we have treatment protocols out to six hours for certain strokes that use interventional procedures through a catheter into the brain that break up or provide clot busting drug. And we even have a special unique protocol here at Barnes um, that's NIH or government funded that goes out to 12 hours for certain types of strokes that involve the, the posterior and back kind of goes to the point of, of what the biggest limitation of acute stroke treatment is, is patient's lack of recognition of stroke. I'll give you a little background. People with heart disease um, and chest pain are, and, and the American Heart Association has been very successful in teaching people and the public on the signs and symptoms of, of heart disease. Everyone recognizes those symptoms and rapidly comes to the emergency department and clearly that message has been reached. But for stroke, I don't think we have that message clearly out into the community yet. And the, treatments of, and the symptoms of stroke are as, unfortunately um, not as uh, clearly defined as for heart disease. There are certain symptoms of stroke that everyone should recognize, such as weakness or numbness of one part of the face um, um, or arm or leg. Um, so that, that would be kind of paralyzed, heavy, clumsy arm, leg or face. Um, dysarthric or kind of clumsy slurred speech or inability to speak or understand, loss of visual, um, visual um, acuity or loss of vision in one or both eyes, um, severe headache, a headache that comes on suddenly associated with nausea, vomiting, um, that's un unlike or very un un atypical to your typical headaches. Um, and, and really, you know, and then, then particularly symptoms of stroke can be otherwise fairly vague, such as not feeling right, um, vague numbness um, or weakness in, in, in certain parts of the body, but really between face, arm and leg, weakness, numbness or loss of strength, speech, vision and severe headache, those are really um, the, the key, key signs and symptoms of stroke.